Uh, anyway, uh, Valve, the company most known for not making games and just kind of being a digital storefront, uh, has announced the Steam Deck, a handheld PC gaming system. Uh, while handheld PCs certainly aren't, I'm sorry, while handheld PCs certainly aren't a new concept, they have up to this point proven expensive with no widespread support. And see, instead, the Steam Deck is po- I can't fucking read this. This is on my second monitor. It's vertical. The text is too small. Let me increase this because I'm blind and I'm old as shit. I'm old. I'm eternally 19, though, so to completely disregard that last statement, I am not old as shit. Mace is an old man. I'm young as fuck. Um, yeah, I'm a zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> um, instead, the Steam Deck is posed to tackle the significantly weaker Nintendo Switch with its vast Steam library and more pow- powerful hardware. Um, the Steam Deck comes in three storage options, with all of them wielding the same processing and graphical power. At three ninety nine, you have a sixty four gigabyte e- eMMC internal storage. Um, and they all come with carrying cases, or whatever. Uh, for five twenty nine, you can get the two hundred fifty six gigabyte NVMe SSD drive. And for six forty nine, you can get the five hundred and twelve version. It also has some like anti glare as glass and whatnot. Uh, Mesa, do you want to go over the tech stuff since you are hereby legally dubbed the tech wizard? Hmm. Uh, so, um, so we know um, they, they 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 released some information about the specs. Uh, on top of that, is um, using um, AMD's newest architectures, the same ones that are in the Xbox series and the PlayStation 5, um, um, based on what they've said it is, it looks to be like a little bit less than half of what the Xbox Series S is. Um, uh, it's also, um, let's see, what was it? I think, it's, I think they said a uh, eight hour battery life from web browsing. I think they said like two uh, to eight, depending on the game yeah. and like what, what you're trying to like output. Yeah. Oh, it's also worth noting. Uh, what's the resolution? It's a uh, twelve eighty by eight hundred, I believe. It's yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, twenty nine, yeah, twenty nine eighty by eight hundred. That's right. It's a little bit higher than seven twenty p. Um, because you know, for a handheld thing, aiming for seven twenty p is usually the best option for performance and everything. Um, uh, so the thing about this device, though, is that um. Uh, a lot of people are saying Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch uh, in comparison to it, but I don't really think that's really the market that it's really attacking. Um, it's more attacking the 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 the, the small but was slowly growing um, like handheld PC space things like the G the GPD Win um, or the Aya Neo. There's these handheld Windows computers that had um, off the shelf parts. Um, and you know could play games pretty well, but you know cost like thousand uh, fifteen hundred dollars because because they had they had to buy these parts wholesale because Valve is so much a such a bigger um, uh, company with a lot more resources and a lot more contacts they able to go directly to AMD and say hey we want to start building this type of SOC um and that's what allows them to keep the the cost of the device so much lower than the competition in that regard nice um i i i see people saying like oh look the new switch oled is 350 and you can get this for 400 i would not recommend that base 400 model to basically anybody because it's like it's em it's emmc storage it's it's, 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 it's gonna be slow as shit just Pony up the extra 129 to at least get the 256 gigabyte because that's NVMe. It's going to be so much infinitely faster. Do not settle mm-hmm. for that base I mean, model. Yeah, like loading times off an SD card, like they've gotten better over the years, but that's still not optimal. Optimal. Not ideal. Not ideal. Absolutely not. Um, Did you try to reserve? Oh, or no, we should we should say this. So. One thing that Valve has done that none of the other platform holders have done for their hardware is you were restricted to pre-order it based off, I believe, the seniority of your of your um, Steam accounts, mm-hmm. which is weird That's because I fucking awesome. Because I I tried to get mine that first day because my account I've had since I believe two thousand eight, so it's it's what like thirteen years old at this point, and I couldn't get in until. Um, I, be- I believe yesterday at like 10 a.m. or something, but I was like 10 minutes late to doing it 
and I still got it like no problem. It's only a five dollar reservation, but it's like fuck Hell if that if that fights off scalpers, fuck yeah, it, it's it's so easy. To fuck over scalpers, basically, yeah. Because didn't PlayStation Wait. they try to do that with their PlayStation Direct shit for PS fives, but it, the site just didn't work at all. Wait, um, someone in the chat saying that. Are you saying that the, the, the they said that the stream that the Steam Deck will have um, a free mini uh, M.2 slot? Because if that's so, then that changes like everything. <laughs> uh, you mean as Is far that, as like storage space? Yeah, in terms of storage space. Yeah, yeah, I believe it does have some kind of either either additional or replaceable or something. Because like uh, because it was um. Okay, so the bottom one will have a free one as well on top of the uh, the SD slot. Because yeah. like if that's the case, then honestly the schmoo is a uh, is a uh, get the get the base one and then uh, up and then upgrade it yourself. Right. And I know did anyone? I know I had to leave for a second, but did we already cover? You can also wipe off Steam OS and just put Windows 10 on there if you want. We haven't yet. Yeah, okay. so that's like one of the cool. I I don't believe you even have to wipe it. Like you technically can, but you can you can use stuff like Game Pass. You can use the Origin Store. You can use like basically anything you want. Like you know, the if one a game thing- does. It, I'm sorry, good. No, no, no. If you finish your thought first. Oh, no, I'm basically good. You, you can go. Okay. Um, what I'm wondering is, I is this going to, because I remember like one of the, like with Steam Big Picture and stuff like that was you could only really use things with controller support or if you did activate them, like you would have to, like if you, you, would, you would control the menu with a controller, but like if you're using Steam Link, which God, I don't think I ever used that more than once, or like Big Picture mode on the PC, then you would go back to your mouse and keyboard. I'm wondering with this, is this going to just be like locked to anything that has controller support or are they actually I, going to put in some kind of situation where I like it's remapped or whatever? I believe there's going to be a couple workarounds and because like I I was one of those people that tried desperately to like just get my Steam control and be like, this is actually a cool control. I'm going to fucking use it because what, if you go into a game like I tried playing Fear 1 and 2, which don't have native controller support on PC. Uh, so you can get your Steam controller, and like once you boot it up, uh, you can download profiles that other people have made that kind of like remap the buttons to your controller. You can customize everything to be as is. Uh, so I, I would imagine it would do that uh, natively yeah. for all the buttons, all the inputs, the mouse. I, I will say. Whatever. Oh, I well, will just, say just real that, quick. Oh, just sorry. Quick yeah, you, also, go on, you go on. You can add Bluetooth controllers. So you, theoretically, you can you can Bluetooth hook up a, uh, a a traditional keyboard and mouse also. And that's why they sell you the the Game Gear kickstand for five ninety nine. <laughs> no, um, I mean, I'll also never give up the fact speed. that it looks like a Game Gear. Sorry. Oh yeah, absolutely, it looks like a Game Gear. <laughs> also, the, uh, the Gear. there's the uh, there's a Type C port on the top of it that can be used with any Type C dock that you might have. Um, so like you don't for have stu- to get the specific for a stupid dock. person like me. What kind of things would you put in a Type C dock? Like, you know, like USB or ports for right keyboard and mouse or HDMI or uh, Ethernet connection. Okay. Even, even if you have to use a converter, you can basically put anything in there and it should theoretically yep. just work. Mm-hmm. It just works. Um, uh, what I was going to say about what Jose was saying is I also, I don't know if that was exclusive to the Steam controller. I know that they I, maybe they later brought in mapping for other controllers, like as far as downloading. That, that's how I fucking played uh, New Vegas with a DualShock was like, oh, someone actually mapped it out, but I had to swap the triggers because it was all weird. Mm-hmm. But no, think- um, you go on, Jose. Oh, I was just going to say, I, I think the coolest thing about this is that, you know, whenever you buy a new piece of hardware, you're just like, okay, well, I have to go and buy some games for this, whatever, exclusives, whatever. But I already have, like, such a gigantic freaking Steam library over 13 years. I'm just like, I can buy this, and I'm just good to go. I have so much shit I can just play on it, like, right out of the box no absolutely um Altmo, do you have any general thoughts on the steam deck whatsoever so not really everything about this like i i am basic minimalist pc gamer um my i i had help building a pc several years ago and haven't updated it in a while um and so I and I, I went through the stage where I bought way too many Steam games and then 
swore I'd never buy anything from a Steam sale again, and now like <laughs> my Steam account just sort of sits there, and occasionally I play something um, from it. Um, so, so this does like, nothing for you in terms of like if you had to choose between a Switch or this, or even just like as a complimentary, you, you're basically just like, eh, don't care. Yeah, like it. It. I might get it in the future. I kind of want to see what it the reactions are when people have it in their hands first. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's not an essential thing for me. Like I, I, the switch covers everything I, I want right now out of handheld. Um, and like, it definitely looks like an interesting piece of technology and like, it would be really cool for like handheld PC market and customizable stuff and things like that. If it, if it takes off, but like, I can't get over the D-pad placement. Like it. it <laughs> oh yeah. It looks well, let's like talk it's about hurt my hands. I, yeah. I, the, Not very friendly on the hands. It looks like for people that haven't seen it, it's um. If you think of like a Nintendo Switch, like if you're playing it in handheld mode, there's the analog stick up top. There's a D-pad below, D buttons, whatever. And then on the opposite side, the face buttons are up top, and then analog down. This has both the analogs up top, and then the buttons to the left and right like respective and it just looks awkward as shit and uncomfy although people are saying it's actually not that uncomfy but i don't know i'll wait till i get my fucking hands on it it's my wrists like are hurting just trying to move my thumbs mm -hmm. up to be in that position it's it's mm -hmm. also supposed to be like two pounds and like even with my switch here i can grab mine yeah switch like, is kind I, of I, pushing I, the I, limit i don't have like weak baby hands or anything like i can lift whatever right um, but, but just like after a while, after holding this in my hand, I'm just like, wow, my hands are, is probably a little bit, just too much weight to be like super comfy. And th that's yeah. supposed to be twice the weight. I'm like, oh, this is going to murder my wrist. Like it seems to be in this weird nebulous thing of like people who don't want to spend the money on a gaming laptop who want portability, but don't want to sacrifice. They would maybe don't want to spend the money on a gaming laptop, but then they also don't want to spend the money on a switch. They want to have more versatility i guess software wise um i know and again i don't want to talk out of pocket or anything because i'm uh I'm, I'm not a physically disabled person but i know a lot of physically disabled people have both said good things and bad things about it like as far as if you for certain people for people who maybe wouldn't be able to deal with the heft and actually lift it that's obviously a problem but i know that there's also people who have said like uh, again um i hope i'm not misquoting anybody but uh or misparaphrasing but i know people who have said like it's a it would be a godsend for them because they either can't sit at a pc or like can't um like just can't have that kind of access so something that they could just have in their lap even if they're not actually traveling like i don't know i'm, I'm interested to see what it, those kind of applications are Th those those gaps that it fills in that aren't filled in by other things already you know because mm -hmm. also I, I used to i'm sorry this is the last thought rem um like no i used to be on the whole thing where my gaming pc was my laptop and nothing sucked more than like i have my fan and i have my laptop i have to crane my wrist and then crane my other wrist on the mouse or back and forth and it was just event i flip one switch down uh, the like a flap down because it's rubbing up against my wrist that's a nightmare so even if you need wanted to upgrade from that to just this little steam machine that seems pretty cool if you also still have this the storage space and everything else we talked about i'll miss on go on i'm sorry all right so i have two points right um first thing one's a rumor one's a rumor point and this and the first point is about fighting games rumor has um, it. Mm. so one of the things that they pushed heavily in the uh, with the website at least is the idea of using this to play you know fighting games um okay. There's this current issue with with uh, in the fighting game uh, community right now, where uh, there is this divide of what platform do we play on? PS, PlayStation, or PC? PlayStation has the convenience factor; everyone has it. It's easy to bring, plug in, you set it up, you're done. Right? PC mm -hmm. is a lot more hurdles. Is a lot is a uh, is a lot more unstable. You know, you plug a stick in three times, and the game's gonna crash. However, PC uh, has the lowest input lag, basically with every version of all games. PC always has the lowest input lag and feels the best. Hmm. So, And, I the, mean, you can personally attest, uh, due to recent events, that just switching, like switching between practicing a game on PC and then playing in a competition on a PS4 or a PS5, is, uh, it's, it's tricky sometimes. 
you, yeah. you notice it. You feel it. You I absolutely we- feel it. I, I went 0-2 in my recent tournament because uh, <laughs> because of that. Um, there, there, there are some fights I should have won because of it. Um, but um, so... Um, so, so the the Steam OS that's going to be on the Steam Deck is based on Linux, and uh, Steam has a wrapper called Proton, which allows you to play Windows games on Linux. Um, I don't believe tests have. I don't believe I've seen tests saying how input lag is going to work on uh, Proton, whether or not it's increased or not. Um, that's something I'm really curious to see. Um, and also it's obviously it's stability. How well is it going to handle, you know, 50 different controllers being plugged in and plugged out over the course of like five hours. Oh, well, Well, one thing that might be, one thing that might be worth bringing up, I, I forget the list of games. Um, I know like siege was one of them, but something to do with proton or an apex, I'm sorry, uh, something to do with siege and apex. I know those, those are two of the ones that were mentioned. Mm -hmm. Where you can't play them on the uh, on the Steam Deck because Steam OS using Proton has some kind of like conflicting issues with anti cheat measures, so mm. uh, you're probably going to be out of luck on those as well as a couple of others. Mm-hmm. Um, we also forgot this; is, they're going to have a dock for it, which is separate. So if yeah. you want to use it like a straight up Switch, but yeah. I already have a very good PC, so that's kind of null and void for me. The dock personally. would definitely be for. Something like a fighting game event, or, or something along that vein, or for yeah, someone who maybe doesn't have a big beefy PC and wants to be able to use something. That's what I was about to ask. So, my son, so for sure, a low use case item. No, yeah. yeah. Which then also that makes sense why you would sell that separately. That's not like a grift at that point. That is yeah. no. This is only something that a few people are going to want. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Um, mm-hmm. my son. So basically, if we put together the ideas of it has the ports for thing, it has the Bluetooth capability as far as controllers, it has the ports for everything, what have you, you could basically just bring one of these to a tournament or a few of them to a tournament and be like, okay, boom, boom, boom. We got like three TVs. Mm -hmm. We got controllers. We got everything. We're set. Because like, because like the hope right now for a lot of TOs is that um, with tournament organizers is that, hey, um, can we transition completely to PC? Because it feels so much better. Mm-hmm. Um, like, uh, and this way you don't have to bring a PS4. It's yeah. as much as we talk about the heft of it. Uh, uh, right now, uh, with Guilty Gear, uh, the newest game that came out, Guilty Gear Strive, um, um, uh, the input lag between PC um, on PC, it's under a frame and on PS five, it's almost six. Like yeah, it's a it's humongous a gap difference. And the that, developers um, of the games of uh, developers of guilty of strive have stated that something that they want to work on, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I mean, that's just words. Wasn't I mean, that also something between to PS four to PS five? Like there was some kind of issue there. Uh, PS four is like a little bit over four. And then playing a PS4 version on PS5 is in between. Uh, but PS4 playing the PS5. PS5 oh, so yeah. this isn't yeah. like you're playing the PS4 yeah. and the PS5 and it's fucked up. This is actually the PS. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like nearly a hundred milliseconds of input lag. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous. That's not good. So, so Mesa, you were probably starting off in the same boat as me, where I was just like. This looks dumb. I don't need it. I'm sure some people will like it, but I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. And then literally like an hour later, I was like, fuck, I'm going to fucking buy this R. I mean, I, I don't want to buy it, but I'll come over and play it. I'll I'm going to be yours. real, Jose. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop you right there and put you on blast. Because Mr., Mr. Fucking, oh yeah, I didn't, I thought it was dumb for an hour. Motherfucker like was messaging me, I think within like 10 minutes being like, man, I think I need this. Okay, maybe not literally 10 minutes, but it was quicker than an hour. I, it was I, quicker I, than an hour. I suffer from severe retail therapy. And when I, once I know I'm like interested in something, like I, I even turn to my girlfriend does. I'm just like, hey, so they announced this cool thing today. I'm not going to buy it. She dead ass looked at me just like, you already fucking know you're going to buy it. You just fucking get it, do. dude. You should get into buying Transformers every two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or unlock PayPal's pay, pay in four. That will let you spend a lot of money very quickly. If I was if I was alone, uh, I might I might be like eh, maybe, but because I know you're gonna get it, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to try it out. That's true. I'll I'll, I'll let you try it out. Um, shit. Yeah. Oh, and uh, one Not last me, thing. But I'm definitely interested in at least seeing what it can do. Yeah, one last first- thing. 
Oh, go tiny, 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 tiny thing. Um, this is around this. This device's performance is around where um, people kind of figured uh, the whatever the next switch is going to be. <laughs> so I really I can't <laughs> wait to see what happens with that, and I can't wait to see uh, um, how that evolves. Nice. Can, can, pour, one, can we... pour one out for the pour one out for the Nintendo fans that you know the Switch Pro. convinced themselves that something was real when there was no evidence, and then got their uh, hopes. I mean, yes. I mean, there there is evidence. There was there, there was there was there, evidence there, for certain things, not a there, Switch Pro. <laughs> there is evidence that something exists. Like we know certain things. Like we know what the SOC is and all that from Nvidia. However, like it, it's not it's not it's not this year. <laughs> It's can, we, can we at least come to this year? Kojima's least... working on the Switch Pro confirmed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Silent Hills will be an exclusive to the Switch Pro <laughs> in 2025. Here we go. <laughs> can we come to the consensus that uh we that we should always refer to this as the Gabe Station Portable? No. The Gabe Boy? No. I like Gabe Boy. The Gabe, Gabe Boy. Boy. Yeah, Gabe, Gabe Boy. Boy really Gabe Boy has Gabe. enough of a stop that like it or rolls Gabe off gear. the tongue better. The Gabe, 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 Gabe Gear. Gabe Gear. Gabe yes! <laughs> Gabe Son, I love you. <laughs> oh, the Gabe Gear. Gabe Boy is really you know, Gabe Boy and Gabe so, Gear, those are the two. I see Gabe Boy is something that you would like go to Disneyland like on a on a shirt, just Gabe Boy. And, and try no, to see no, if you no, can no. freak out old people. No, no, no. What you wear to, what you wear to Disneyland is you wear the I was kicked out of such and such for homosexual fast dancing. That's what you wear to Disney. <laughs> see, I can I can do something with the Vita and Lara like the PSP. I just need a second. Uh, wait, so am I the only one that reserved one? Probably. Fuck. <laughs> now, now I feel dumb. <laughs> Don't feel dumb. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, What's You'll get to make a video on it. It'd be great. Fuck that. Talk Steam Deck means life. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh, I look five three. I, I still have. I still haven't. I still haven't played freaking uh, Half Life Alex. Like I, I, I don't. I still don't really have the space for it unless I like set up over here. Do, but... you, do you have the Steam VR thing? No. I do. Can you? Wait, any... Do you not? Can you play it without VR? No. No. It's so why are you complaining made... about not playing it? Because I want to play you, it. You, but you, you have to buy like a two thousand dollar piece of machine or whatever the fuck. It's not, you know, it's not this, this, was like this was like two hundred. This was like two hundred. Oh no, oh, it was actually like five hundred. Uh, but I bought it with um, with 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 with, with money that, that I, I got. As one yeah. as one usually buys things with. I haven't it's used funny it money because it doesn't fit my head very well. As 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 opposed to fun bucks. Oh boy! With a cool ending that I haven't seen many people spoil and talk about. Yeah, I still don't know what it is. Thankfully. Oh yeah, you you're right. I haven't thought about that. Yeah, I, like that game came out a while ago, and that yeah. ending is like some fucking huge crazy shit. And I Wait. haven't seen people spoil it and talk. Wait, about are we it. talking you're Half Life right. still? We're yeah, Half Life. Okay. Yeah. I I know yeah. vaguely what happens at the end. Yeah, I never right. would have expected yep. the fucking Valve and Half-Life fandoms of all people to... Well, actually, no, I take that back. I wouldn't expect the modern Valve fandom to actually give a shit about spoilers. I would absolutely expect people who still consistently gave a shit about Half-Life after, like, 30 years or whatever to not mm -hmm. spoil it. Yeah. at that they, point, you've they... basically just been in a, a hermit in a cave for fucking yeah. 10 years. <laughs> basically. I think you'd be surprised about the amount of people that... Uh, I don't know, like, like give a shit about Half Life. Like, I was literally just playing it like right before the show. I'm just like, oh, what can I play for just like five minutes and quick save and then dip out mm -hmm. as soon as we have to start? I just mean they're not talking about it as much. Oh, yeah. not much to talk about anymore. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like what the last episode two came out 2007 because that was the Jesus orange Christ. box. It took him Ooh, like that was the orange box. Yeah, I bought the. Yeah, I have a so physical loud. orange box on my shelf over there. Take them 13 years. <laughs> 13 years. Remember physical PC games? Oh god. That that was that was the first game that like really um required you to make a Steam account. Like people were like super pissy about it back then. <laughs> Which you know <laughs> what? It, 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 it was like a new thing at the time, so I mean I can't I guess I can't blame people. I remember buying Counter-Strike Anthology because I was like, I've watched all these 
animations on Newgrounds and YouTube, and I want to play Counter Strike. And then I bought Counter Strike Anthology at GameStop, and I tried installing. Like, what the fuck is Valve? I mean, what? Sorry, what the fuck is Steam? And I just never fucking installed it properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steam had a had a while to grow up before it became a, what people like actively recognize. Like, oh yeah, Steam's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um. And then it became a force for evil, like ten years into its inception. <laughs> like most sort of. Things. It's a good. It's a good storefront, but fucking god, monopolies are bad. I think they've gotten a little bit too libertarian in in terms of like what they allow on their because yeah. it's just flooded with shit. You get stuff like hatred. Uh, well, and inconsistently they, they, libertarian. Beautiful. I they'll, like it. They'll, it's great. I mean, I got. I think you you would know my good faith opinion on on like all these like weird sex games and hentai shit that that's on steam or whatever but yeah, they'll allow the, it like they'll allow that stuff on there as long as the developers like take out like those files but the the developers can just like have those files separately not available anymore. to download literally, like, not anymore page, oh did they like, change oh yeah hey yep. you download this zip file for all the pornography not even they're just they're just pornography in the previews for these games now yeah like, it doesn't even crazy. matter anymore Yes, yeah, there used Steam, to be a line, and then they forgot about it. Steam's filter oh is just God. like almost non-existent at this point, and then um, because because oh, what, what even when an indie game wanted to get on Steam, they had like the whole green the green light thing where people had to like vote to see like what would mm-hmm. even be allowed, and now it's just and then that got fucking abused because I remember like I don't know I know a yeah. lot of people out there don't like Jim Sterling, uh, but I think that they were doing a fucking service of like look at all these games that are literally just i bought a unity asset pack and didn't do anything like i don't mean like oh i was lazy i mean literally the thing you're not supposed to sell legally i'm just selling as if it's my own game yeah yeah of all the things i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of jim sterling but like that stuff was they did a fantastic job like talking about that absolutely 